horse who made me love racing was the one and only Tobin Bronze. Absolutely brilliant. Him and Jimmy Johnson, I adored the pair of them. I grew up in the Darling Downs on a dairy farm and every Saturday afternoon, our entertainment, my dad and I would listen to the races. And the great Bert Bryant, his calls were just magnificent, the colour. And every time when Tobin Bronze raced, he just lifted to another level, it was brilliant. I loved him winning a couple of Cox Plates, the All Age, the Works, he was just brilliant. I got up early to listen to him race in the international overseas at the old radio. My mum and I got up about two or three in the morning to hear that. But my favourite of all was the Doncaster. He had nine stone five. The minimum was seven stone seven. And I was on my pony going down to get the dairy cows in. It was a little red Bakelite transistor in my top pocket. I wanted to hear the race. I'm riding down there. And Cabochon, Bruce McLoone, seven stone seven, shot clear inside the furlong. And then all of a sudden I heard uh, the late Ken Howard, the voice just lift. He said, and here comes the big bronze chestnut, Tobin Bronze. I thought, oh my God, he's going to do it. Johnny Miller was on board because Jimmy Johnson was rubbed out. And Johnny Miller got him over the line and he won the Doncaster. Absolutely incredible. I couldn't believe it. I was that excited. By the way back, I reckon I even had the dairy cows doing three-quarter pace back to the dairy to tell my old man how good it was. Later on in life, my uncle, Con Doyle, took Mr Hush to Melbourne for the lightning of the new market. I said, who are you going to put on him? She, Jimmy Johnson. I thought the world cannot be a better place. How good is this? And Jimmy won the lightning on him and ran fourth behind Begonia Bell, Torto and Black Onyx. I think three very good horses in a very close finish in the new market. So Tab and Bronze, not only did you make me love racing, you got me hopelessly addicted to it and I love it. Always one with a great story, Cozzy. And thanks to John Massara, Kristen Fian and the Arrowfield Stud team for your continued partnership with Bread to Win in 2020. Thanks too to Mark Webster and Sebastian Hutch and the Inglis team for your major sponsorship of the show. We couldn't do it without you. Thanks too to Darren Pearce and Sky Racing for your continued support of Bread to Win in the past 12 months. I'll be back with the yearling previews and Bread to Win with a whole new season in 2021. Have a great Christmas and New Year. I'm Caroline Searcy. I look forward to seeing you soon. This program brought to you by Inglis with more Group 1 winners, more Group 1 winning two-year-olds and more Australian Group winners since 2018 than any other Australian auction house.